All right, so Pfizer's at $39.58 with a market cap of $220.78 billion. So there's a lot of news going on right now, and it's in regards to the COVID vaccine patent. So Pfizer and Moderna and all of them want to patent their vaccine, but the World Trade Organization is kind of urging the Biden administration to waive this vaccine. And you'll see that the Biden administration is wanting to waive that vaccine for, you know, to allow other countries, companies to start mass producing this, this vaccine. And it, depending on who you talk to, you'll upset one side and upset the other. So what this means is if they waive, if they deny this patent, meaning Pfizer applies for the patent, they waive it. This allows other companies and countries to essentially steal that vaccine to produce it themselves. So that means billions and billions of dollars lost for Pfizer. So I understand both sides of the story. One side allows people to get the vaccine easier. And then the other side, from the investor standpoint, you lose out on the the gamble and risk that you took to invest in Pfizer because they knocked it out of the park and they were the first ones and you're hoping to see the benefits of this vaccine um the sales but if it gets waived that means it's going to be a tough one for Pfizer and Moderna and J&J &J because it's just it allows the door for the intellectual property to be stolen and then it could be mass produced and it's just a tough one uh, i'm not going to comment too much on it because this is a this, this is a, a tricky and tough subject for a lot of people but just know that hey if that if that vaccine patent gets waived we're probably going to go back down to the 36 35 dollar below range back to where we were if it gets approved, you know, Pfizer's going to keep making bank. So depending on how you look at it, this sucks on one side, the other is very beneficial. So please stay on top of this. Do your own research. Have some fun. Make some money. This video is not financial advice. Any statements made are my views and is for entertainment purposes only and should not be taken as financial advice. Do your own research before making any financial investments.